Today is an important day. Wearing red. What is this telling us of what today is? Pentecost. Last week was another big day. Remember for the children's message what I did with the balloons? Larry probably does because he got to take them home. <laughs> Remember what we did? We let them up and they flew up high to the top of the sanctuary, reminding us that last week, Jesus, we celebrated that Jesus ascended into heaven. As we said in the gospel reading this morning, he went away. But not so that we'd be lost. He sends his spirit, his Holy Spirit. And in today's first reading, we had the story of what that day was like. It was Pentecost. There were lots of people in Jerusalem, and the disciples were sitting in their room, remembering that Jesus said, I would send you someone. I would clothe you with power from on high. And lo and behold, what starts to happen? The wind starts to blow. And then something really strange happens. A tongue of fire appeared on their heads. Okay. So I want all of you to, we're going to kind of reenact that here today. Everybody take a candle. Okay, turn on your fires. It was like this. The sound of a rushing wind and the tongues of fire, put them up there, get them burning. <laughs> and suddenly the uh, disciples were able, to, were able to speak in all these different foreign languages. And everybody was there. This is weird. These people didn't go to language school. They're just a bunch of country bumpkins from Galilee. They must be drinking too much wine. Peter says, no, 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 they're not drinking too much wine. They got the Holy Spirit. That's what happened on that Pentecost. And that's what we celebrate today. Because what happened to the disciples? Suddenly, they understood what had been confusing. They, oh yeah, Jesus loves me. Oh yeah, he rose from the dead. Oh yeah, we got his spirit burning on our heads and burning in our hearts. And we can now tell the world about Jesus. Folks, we today have got this fire not burning in our, on our heads, but burning in our hearts. Why don't you put them down by your heart? This is what you're, the whole, the fire of the Spirit is burning in your heart today. So that you, you all know and trust that Jesus is your best friend. And that he loves you no matter what. And you know, you can't help but tell the world. And isn't that wonderful? So, what I'd like to have you do this morning is join in with me is with a cheer that's kind of like a prayer. It's very simple. It goes like this. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Okay, and the kids, can you say it? On the count of three. One, two, three. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Oh, come on. We do better. Stand up. Stand up. Get that. That fire is burning in your hearts. Let's say it again on the count of three and let's shout it. Ready? Come, Holy Spirit, come. Okay, all the rest of you young kids out there in the congregation this morning, everybody stand. That whole, that Pentecost fire is burning in your hearts. We're set on fire with the Spirit. And we're going to do that shout. One, two, three. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Boys and girls, come up here, we'll make our circle, we'll hold our hands, we're going to say our little prayer, our echo prayer, please repeat after me. Parents, you can sit if you like, but uh, you also can join in our prayer. So let us pray, boys and girls. Good morning, God. Thank you for Pentecost. For sending us the Spirit who will tell us all we need to know about your love, about your love. In, Jesus. in Jesus. Fill us with that spirit. Us with that spirit. May, it May it burn in our hearts as we say, as we say. 
Come. Lord, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Come. come. Amen.